Jay-Z, one of several artists teaming up to block rap lyrics from being used in court. New York lawmakers introduced the rap music on trial bill back in November. This would end the use of rap lyrics as evidence in criminal cases, except in cases with clear and convincing proof of a link between the lyrics and a crime. Artists say that current law violates their First Amendment right to freedom of artistic expression. Recently in hip hop news, artists such as Jay-Z, Meat Mill, and various others, they are proposing and supporting a bill to be passed through the New York State legislation called Rap Music on Trial. This bill is going to not allow prosecutors to use song lyrics from rap artists to be used in trial as evidence suggesting of them confessing to their crimes. Now, Jay-Z and Meek Mill, they are getting a lot of support from other artists and other people within the music industry. However, I'm going to take a different take with this rap music on trial and I'm going to look at the actual realization of the problem and why I do not fully support this bill. Now I'm hearing one side of this story saying that rap is used as an art of expression and I totally agree. They're also saying, well, we should have the freedom of speech, but in the age of cancer culture, do we absolutely have freedom of speech? If that's the case, Donald Trump should have never been canceled off of every social media, along with many other brothers who get their platforms demonetized and get their pages blocked and, and deleted simply because they're saying something that other people disagree with. But when it comes to rap music and rap artists, let's look at the format of rap artists here in 2022. The reason why I do not support this bill is because many rap artists today are bragging about committing crimes, getting in shootouts, and then smoking on the pack of their opposition. Their opposition could be in the grave, but yet they're still mocking and literally making fun of their dead opposition. So these young men can go out here and commit crimes, shoot at each other, somebody gets killed, and you mean to tell me that this law is gonna prevent prosecutors for using what they say in a song as evidence of them confessing to their crime. Not only just that, how many rappers you know go on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and TikTok, and they just confess what they did. They'll even go live with their ops making fun of them and then threaten to kill them. I mean, let's look at the NBA young boy and Lil Dirt situation. NBA young boy and Lil Dirt are two of the biggest young artists in the game today. They have a massive influence over this young generation. And instead of doing something really positive and productive to greatly influence their younger audience, what do they do? They're instigating beef with each other, stemming from back as early as 2019. In fact, people have died as a result of these two not getting along with each other. In this case, King Von, he was killed by one of the NBA young boys closest affiliates. And Quando Rondo, him and King Von got into a fight and Quando Rondo's shooter, Lil Tim, came out the truck, shot and killed Lil Von. Two other people got killed, even he got shot. So the cycle of violence that is continuing to trend through the use of this rap music, we gotta really ask ourselves, why are we continuing to promote it? And if you put a bill out there because prosecutors have the right to use that, why are we stopping proper justice from being executed? Oh, I get it. We think that the white man is targeting the black man but the black man is the one that's doing the killing. The black man is the one that's taunting his rights. 
black man is the one that is boasting and bragging about killing another black man, hurting another black man's family. But how did rap music end up to this point? Older artists like Jay-Z, Meek Mill, Rick Ross, Fat Joe, etc., etc., you have helped contribute to this. Look at how these young rappers get on nowadays. Rock Nation. Y'all not promoting younger artists like Corday. You would have never signed artists like NLE Chopper. NLE Chopper actually at one time stopped going with the violence in his music. He started to change his image. He was promoting using natural herbs and spices, eating, eating clean, living a healthy life, aligning your chakras. He was promoting peace and positivity. He was promoting spirituality. But guess what? Nobody bought it. Nobody wanted to accept it. So he had to go back to being a thug and a killer that he was previously known in his music. NBA young boy. That young brother is currently on house arrest, pending a trial for murder. What does he do? Since he's in the on house arrest and he has pretty much nothing to do, he's in a state he doesn't live in, Utah of all places. He's putting out this type of music, bring it on, bring it, bring in the hook, no switch, and he is viciously going at his opposition. He's going at them so bad, that boy on demon time. He a grave digger. He talking about your mama gonna be sorry for you. And listen to the level of aggression he's coming off with in them lyrics. That boy got evil on his mind. He ain't gonna rest until he has full retaliation against his enemy. Look at Lil Durk. Lil Durk has lost so many of his own family members, so many of his own partners. He lost his biggest artist, King Von. And you would think that Lil Durk would be like, Hey man, I lost so much to this. I got to this down. But instead, he's egging it on. And he no longer lives in Chicago, he's in Atlanta. But the more he egg it on, you know what he do to the little homies that's in Parkway Garden? It's demon time for them to no know block. To where they burning them green flags. Yeah. And to take it even further, you got the fans picking sides in this beat. Many fans choosing Young Boy. Many fans choosing Lil Durk. Nobody's coming to a common ground or using common sense and saying these young men are in their early to mid twenties. Why are we encouraging them to beef with each other and making cryptic threats until something actually happens to these young men? But it goes beyond just NBA Young Boy and Lil Durk. This is the type of energy we have premiated in our music. This is the type of energy we as a so-called community fully support in this current rap culture. But this just didn't start in the 2010s. No, this just didn't start with drill music. This shit been going on since the 90s. And many old heads refuse to accept responsibility in that regard. See, Dolores Tucker had to experience and endure a whole lot of criticism simply because she was one of the very brave people to call out the negativity and degradation many MCs back in the 90s were using in their music. And as much as we love Tupac, even Tupac gave her hell. But where's Tupac that today? Thug life image pop popularized throughout the world. NBA Young Boy and the Lil Dirts and the NLE Choppers and all the drill rappers, they are the sons or the grandchildren of the gangster rappers of the 90s. 
They're the product of what many rappers back in when I was a kid was putting out there in their music. Yeah, for every Biggie, Pac, Snoop Dogg, Death Row, you had your comments, you had your roots, you had your black stars. But even MCs like Jay Z, when he first entered the scene, he was glamorizing the dope life. He was going into detail about the drug game. That fully encouraged, or I should say, it had a strong influence on the trap um, culture in the 2000s. And now look. There's no such thing as my music has no impact. That's right. total nonsense. You know, it has a severe impact. Now, your music may not have caused the problems. You know, there was black on black crime. There was poverty. There was gun violence before rap music. But rap music has certainly helped to glamorize it. Right. It took negative social ills in the community and made them popular. And nobody can absolve themselves from that. Not Jay-Z, not 50 Cent. Y'all helped to popularize killing, whether you want to admit it or not. You helped to popularize drug selling. Right. And the sad thing about it is many of you have never done the things that you rap around in your music, but right. you're not being honest with the children. So they don't see it as entertainment. They see this as actual life, even though it was Look at Gucci Mane. Gucci Mane is a successful businessman. He's had some of the hottest young artists in the game. Fugiano. Who's Shiesty. Had Rollo at one time. Where are these artists at today? Art, imitating life. Those three artists, as I mentioned, all of them are in prison. All of them. Because of their choices. Because of the type of demonic imagery they, pos they possess in their music. Now they living out the consequences of what they putting out there in their raps. Look at Young Dolph. Dead. But for years, he was taunting his rivals, taunting his enemies. And Young Dolph was my age. So as you can see, it goes beyond a bill. We need to be looking at the music that we're putting out there, the words we are saying out of our mouth and putting out into the universe that is capturing the hearts and minds of young people all throughout the world. But we have to hold ourselves accountable for what we say. Otherwise, we wouldn't dare give prosecutors the opportunity or the power to convict our young people of crime that they are confessing in a minute to in the first place. When is we as a community in this rap culture are going to say enough is enough? We are poisoning the minds and the hearts of our people. It ain't white people at large that are getting killed behind this rap shit. It's young black men. The NBA young boy in Lil Dirt situation can end tomorrow. You know why it won't end? Because nobody wants it to end until somebody dies. And if I have to be that black man with an unpopular opinion that says, NBA young boy, Lil Dirt, cut it the fuck out. You guys are too wealthy. You have such a massive influence over these young people. And you got fucking kids and families that are dependent on you. Why the fuck do you want each other to die? And then you continue the same cycle of young black children being born and raised in this world without their own black fathers. So to you little homies, your big brother telling you, cut it the fuck out. People have died behind this. Why are we continuing to encourage more young black people to die behind this bullshit? And this is why I will not support that fucking deal. Artists like Jay-Z and Meek Mill, you niggas know better. But you know why y'all don't care? Because the people who are sponsoring this bill with big money bigger than y'all's, they are private investors until modern day slavery, AKA private prisons, the prison industrial system. And y'all in cahoots with them. After all, Meek Mill, didn't them rich white billionaires have your monk ass Bouncing around like a bunny rabbit at a tennis court. Cause you got your ass beat in tennis. You got your ass beat. Keep going. Count out loud. Count out loud. Huh? Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. 
Don't cheat on your buddy hops. They suck. Your buddy hops suck. You got 250 more to get. Hey, conclusion. We need to hold each other accountable for the things we put out here and, and we say in our music. I ain't even saying that everything got to be positive because you have to have balance. But what I am suggesting is that everything ain't got to be about murder and killing. We've seen too far much of that in Chicago. We're seeing too much of that all throughout this country. We're seeing too much of the promotion of young black men being murdered, of young black men being eliminated. And I'm and I'm seriously tired of the disrespect we show to each other even after we're dead. How about the rap community at large, you elders in the rap community, address that shit first. Instead of coming up with a bill because your enemy doing his job because y'all giving them reasons and excuses to do their job. Until we, as black men, hold ourselves accountable for what we have put out there to wrongfully influence the young people, this death cycle is going to continue. When are we gonna put a stop to it? When we get up off our asses and we do what we're supposed to do as men, to take the mental leadership amongst our people. One hundred. I am here to put the nation on notice that violence perpetuated against women through the music industry in the forms of gangster rap and misogynist lyrics will not be tolerated any longer. <laughs> Principal. Principle must come before profit. Music that glorifies and promotes violence with guns, knives, or drugs and denigrates and defames women.